Here, let's try simplifying the product or multiplication of rational expressions. And in this particular level of the problem, we'll just use monomials, which means there's no addition or subtraction going on within the numerators or the denominators. So in this case, the rule is very similar to what you do with regular fractions. You reduce common factors from the top and the bottom, and you cancel them out, and when you're finished canceling, you can multiply across the tops and the bottoms separately, and that gives you the final answer. Some will actually prefer to just multiply from the beginning and then reduce later, but the tip is, is that if you reduce first, the numbers become smaller and somewhat more manageable. So let's deal with the numbers first, because that looks most like fractions. So 5 and 3, 5 is on top, 3 is on bottom, but they don't reduce. So nothing goes with those two right now. Over here we have a 12 on top of a 15, and they do reduce because there's the common number 3 that divides into both 12 and 15. So I'm going to cross out the 12 and the 15 and try to recall that 12 divided by 3 yields 4, and 15 divided by 3 yields 5. So on the top you would be left with a 4, and on the bottom you would be left with a 5. Now, look at the numbers again. The 4 and the 5 won't reduce, the 5 and the 3 won't reduce, but we can reduce anything from top to bottom when we're multiplying fractions. So the 5 over here and the 5 over here can reduce. The 5 on the top and the 5 on the bottom. Reducing by 5, or dividing by 5, would leave 5 divided by 5 as 1, and 5 divided by 5 as 1. Now the numbers cannot be reduced any, lo any further. Those are complete. But now we have these letters, so we can reduce things again from top to bottom. So let's look over on the left-hand side. We have a Y on top and an X on bottom. Those are different, so they don't reduce. Over here we have an XY on top and a Y on bottom, and notice that there's Ys that are common. So those Ys are able to be reduced or crossed out, because the one on the top would cancel with the one on the bottom. Just think of Y over Y as being equal to 1. Now, it turns out that we can also reduce the X, because over here the X is on top, and over here, the x is on the bottom, and we can still reduce anything from top to bottom. So the x will cancel out, and the x will cancel out. So when we come to our final answer here now, on the top we have a 1 times a y times a 4. So that would come out to become a 4y. And in the bottom, we have a 3 and a 1 and nothing else. So 3 times 1 is just 3. And so the final answer to this problem would be 4y over 3.